so as we were mentioning <clears throat> that these are the characteristics of the slanders and backbiters that they tend to be of those who hoard and amass wealth and feel pride with that so it's not sufficient they're hoarding hoarding uh, and amassing wealth meaning being so materialistic at the expense of the hereafter uh, these are enough sins in, in and of themselves the backbiting and slandering major sins but then on top of that what they have pride and arrogance their pride and boastful of what they have they are also disinterested in spending their wealth on ways and means of righteousness such as to keep relations with relatives and so forth and may Allah bless us to be of those who have the opposite characteristics of these people uh, I want to mention some some benefits from Sheikh Saleh Suhaimi rahimahullah, uh, half of the Allah Ta'ala uh, one of our brothers uh, Abdullah Lahmami half of the Allah Ta'ala he, he mentioned in his translation and this is about the importance of humility because this is the opposite characteristic of the humaza of the, of the person who has this uh, this arrogance and this pride in amassing and hoarding wealth the sheikh mentioned he said then Allah mentioned the attribute of humility humility is an attribute of a sifa of the mu'mineen of the believers those who humble themselves to Allah Allah raises them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ حُونًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions <clears throat> those who walk on the earth in humility so they don't walk with arrogance the shaykh said humility is from the most important a uh, most apparent attribute of the believers and arrogance is the opposite and this is the humaza they have arrogance they collect the wealth they hoard the wealth and they have pride and arrogance uh, and arrogance is its opposite uh, is from the most apparent attribute of the hypocrites and disbelievers the arrogant ones are the most lowly and despicable people on the day of judgment they had their dunya the Prophet said a dunya genital kafir that the this life is the prison of the believer and it's the paradise of the disbeliever one of the explanations with that is that we see that the if one who disbelieves who's not restrained by any sh sh sharia at all meaning they're not even Jew or Christian or anything they just indulge in anything they want if they want to have relations with many people of various uh, various uh, uh, sexes they do if they want to gain uh, immense material wealth uh, and, 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 and have riba to do so, start new businesses based on riba, they, they just declare bankruptcy and they get more bank loans, more riba, and they become more immersed in, in, in sin. They do. They're unrestrained. This is their paradise. They can indulge. They do indulge to their fullest extent. So many people are even khasara in this dunya even. And they still indulge in everything. Those are the worst, the people who are poor and arrogant. On top of that, they they do this. They're the ones, they just end up with AIDS and venereal disease because they just went for their desires. Live fast and die young, they say. Or live fast, what is it? Live fast uh, or get rich trying. or what? Live fast, get rich trying. As 50 Cent, his, the title, the, the name of his record, I think, Live Fast or Get Rich Trying, something like this. The point being, or, or <laughs> the meaning is there. The point being, a habit of Allah, is that this attitude of just indulging, some of the people, they indulge in this, they don't get dunya wala akhira. They don't get either one. They're khasara in both. Then there are those who attain their fame and their status and their wealth they have many cars they're still not happy they kill themselves over they commit suicide when they lose just some of their profits but the believer had a genital kafir was sitting in a movement it's a prison for the believer the believers always restraining themselves always looking to see whether it's halal or haram 
That doesn't mean the believer doesn't enjoy themselves. They don't have fun with their families. They don't enjoy and that they don't have material. No, but they are not. It's not permissible for them to allow that material to encul uh, to in 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 encompass and 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 uh, to over uh, consume their hearts. But rather, the akhirah, iman, needs to. Uh, be their focus. That they use the dunya for the akhirah. Then Shaykh Salih Suhaimi said, the arrogant ones are the most lowly and despicable people on the day of judgment. So that's what they'll get in the hereafter. Allah will see, see, it, see to it that they are under the feet of the people and the one who has a grain of pride in him will not enter paradise. This is why Allah said, الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْعَرْضِ هُونَ those who walk on the earth in humility. And may Allah bless us to be of those who are humble before Him in, and not arrogant. Then we will continue on after this uh, in our next sitting. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.